using Doc Compender is to install the add-on. I'll provide a link in the description. As you can see, I've already installed it. But if you haven't yet, you'll just click right here to do so. Next, I'm going to return to my Google Drive. Since I'd like to use Doc Appender to keep track of my classroom observations of all of my students, I'm going to create a new folder and call it Classroom Observations. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a blank document for each of my students. I'm going to name the document with their name. I'll repeat that process for each of my students. For the sake of time today, I'll just do these three. The document can be blank. There doesn't have to be anything in it. Next, I'm going to create a new form. Inside of my form, I'm going to click on Add-ons and then Doc Appender and I'll open the sidebar. You'll notice the Doc Appender sidebar has now appeared. Step one is to choose the target folder. Since I've already created that folder, I'm going to pick from my drive. Then hit next. I want to use a drop down menu to choose the name of the student I'm making an observation about. So, when in step two, when I'm picking my doc picker question, I want to use the question I just created student. When I click save and populate selected question, you'll notice that the names for my documents automatically appear right here. That's perfect. Next, I'm going to add another question or I can put in a short answer. Actually, no, I'm going to make it a paragraph where I can write my observations. I also like to add another drop down menu where I can um, classify what kind of observation I'm making based on my curriculum areas. So for example, is my observation about math, language, and so on. I'll just include those two for my example. All right, let's return to our Doc Appender sidebar. I'm going to hit next. Now we get to choose what information should be included in the document each time we answer the form. I want to include the timestamp, which will automatically put the date and time the observation was made I don't need to include the name of the student since it'll be in their document, but I do want to include the observations and the curriculum area. You have different choices for the format of the responses. You might want to play around with them until you find one you like best. I'm going to go with separate vertical tables and then enable. All right, now we're done. We've completely set up this form. Let's preview it. All right, let's say I'm making an observation about student A. I can submit the form, and then I can return to submit another response about another student. Awesome. Let's see what that looks like in our documents. You'll notice when I open the document for student A, it has the information from our form. 